He's a singer, and he's a man that can shake, rattle, and roll. And he takes us down memory lane week after week with Where Are They Now and the Song of the Week. To finish the show, it's our pop encyclopedia, Shane. Shane. Hey, Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Oh, nice to be here. Oh, the year is progressing, Shane, and this yes. thing's happening. We've flown into March already, haven't we? Yes, yeah. yes we have. Baby, so fast, I can't keep up. <laughs> Baby boomer activity. Last when was Sunday. it last Sunday? You and yes. I. Wasn't it wonderful to go and see the mods, a Hamilton band? And I remember them well, yeah, um, when I first came here. And uh, they were one of my, sort of, you know, you heard about the mods. It was one of those catchy names at the time, the mods. <laughs> oh, it's got, like, got to be good. Yeah. But they had the haircuts, the Beatles, the whole thing. And... Um, yeah, and they're still playing great. Now they had an afternoon. Uh, we'll tell our uh, viewers that they had an afternoon out in the sun at the uh, at this bar in Hamilton. Great crowd turned up. Okay. We had a great time. There were people dancing. Uh, they're all in their sixties, I think, um, but they all let their hair down. It was good to see four what old hair? buddies from way back then. <laughs> Yeah, there was not a lot of hair around, <laughs> come to think of it, there's a lot of hats. Falling. It was a reunion for the guys, and thank you guys yeah. for inviting us down to Hamilton too. Yeah, long live the mods. Long live the mods. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us, uh, Shane, to... Yes, a song, song of, of the, the week. week. Oh, we got a beauty today. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a tune of the week. Tune Because I'm week? going back to 1964. Now, you know, the guitar was king around about that time. It was the shadows, everyone was, of course. Yeah, the shadows and... Dwayne Eddy and Dwayne Eddy and there was our own homegrown guitar star Peter Poser. We're featuring Peter this week because Peter gave me a call uh, last week to compliment me on my new CD. He'd heard it and he loved it yeah. and Peter called me out of the blue and uh, from his new home in Tiawamutu. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, good title for your <laughs> CD Peter. Out of the blue in Tiawamutu. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he called me and uh, he just wanted to compliment me and, and, th and say what a great, great new album and how much he loved it. So uh, I was quite taken aback and I thought, wow. And I, I said to Peter, well, look, look at the wonderful music you've made over the years. Uh, and, I and I'm still a big fan of Peter Posey. Mm. He was one of the greats, you know. He still is. And I insist on that. And um, he's put a new album out um, and it's called Peter Poser, My Pick. Oh, very Have a look good. at that. He just posted that. I just yeah. uh, these are with me now because I just received them in the post from yeah. Peter, and I'm absolutely overwhelmed that he took the time to post yeah. me a couple of his. It's the best of Peter Poser the and my the pick, which was his latest. Yeah. He sounded so fit and healthy and uh, really well and happy mm -hmm. um, that I thought, no, we've got to play uh, Peter this week. Um, but of course, he started out in Henson Valley, out in uh, Auckland there, in, in out west, um, where he grew up in the 40s. He was he's born in 1941. He turned 70 this year in September. He grew up there and, uh, and with his parents, and he was one of three brothers. Happy family life and everything else. They, his family, uh, his father was called Paul Poser. He ran a, an orchard mm -hmm. sort of business. He, he put a few grapes in. This is dad, <laughs> Paul. And Paul decided, it's hey, a good place to make wine. They made a little bit of wine on the side. But what he did, he just said, no, nah, that's it, I'm out. I'm, he ripped all the, all the trees out, all the fruit trees and everything else, mm -hmm. and just totally covered the, uh, the land with vines. Mm -hmm. And he started on the grape growing business mm -hmm. and making wine. So he be it became Poser Wines. Mm -hmm. Paul, dad, thought that um, mm, Peter's going to take over the business sometime or other. But what had happened was Peter took up the guitar around, around about seven years old when he got his first guitar, and um, he listened to a lot of old records and things and, and taught himself to play, yeah. which was amazing he because was he had no, he's a natural player, you know. So he, he learned the guitar and, and was so keen, he loved his guitar. So he decided he was gonna be a guitar star. He went up to see Eldred Stebbing, the guy that started my career off, you know, way back when. And this was 1959, and Eldred had his little studio under the house and he went up to see him and he said, look, could you, um, could I make a record there? Eldred, of course, took him under his wing, and he made his first record in 1959, his first single. Gosh, that early. Yeah, yeah that early, early, 1959, yeah. and it was Sweet Georgia Brown. Wheels. Wheels, Wheels was, was the, the one, one that broke. That was it. He, it was the old, uh, what was the group called? The Fireballs, wasn't it? Yeah, that was huge for Peter. They, they bought it out in America, and he covered it here, and that became his first real establishing. Uh, of course, then it went on to 62 when uh, Zodiac released the big one. The biggie. White Rabbit. Rabbit. What I love about White Rabbit yeah. 
is the fact that it was written by two local guys here in New Zealand. I it's a purely I New Zealand instrumental. That. I didn't know Yeah, that. he didn't yeah. take it from America no. or anywhere else. It was the big one for him and it came from New Zealand. Mm. It was written by two local musicians, Bill Ivory and Graham Rosling. The record's a huge success, mm. um, and everybody knows Peter Poser now yeah. throughout the country. So he's on tour straight away. He went on tour with Helen Shapiro, who came over here on tour. He was a support act for her, and I think he he drew bigger houses than her. Everyone mm. wanted to see. I remember Peter seeing Poser. I remember seeing him. Did you? Yeah. In awe. Oh, of <laughs> course. What happened then? He had huge success, and they arranged dates mm. for him in America, and he was uh, over meeting Shed Atkins. He was doing the Hollywood show. Um, with famous stars, you know, mm -hmm. working with Shed Atkins and that. And while he was there, he spent a six months there, and he did a stint, um, and they asked him to be a studio musician for mm -hmm. RCA Records. Um, but Peter became very homesick, and he suffered from depression, and uh, he was getting rather down. It was something he didn't understand at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, it got heavier and heavier, so he came home, mm -hmm. back to his um, shores here, and played his music and carried on. But Meanwhile, the depression started setting in, and so did the drink to ease the pain and so on, you know, a little bit. And he started to enjoy his wine, whatever, <laughs> poser wines. But Peter then, in, in the 70s, he had a huge car crash. Mm. His car left the road, and he suffered severe whiplash. And, mm. you know, that, what that can be oh. like if you've ever been in a car crash of sorts. Um, it, you know, just ripped his whole back, and, and he still suffers to the very day with the, with the pain, mm. agonizing pains. So he started to take tranquilizers and painkillers and all sorts. And meanwhile, the bottle helped the pain. <laughs> and it all went downhill from there. And poor Peter, um, he, he, you know, he lost the plot a bit. And he went out one day and he sold all his guitars, vowed never to play again. He gave up the whole business. And there's this wonderful, talented musician mm. just giving it all away. And there was no one really there to help him, you know. Mm. And so he gave up music for about 10 years. And then he met Margaret, his wife, who is with him now, and uh, he loves her to death. It all changed. It's all changed. Oh, a good wonderful. woman behind yeah, him there, and uh, she's a Christian. And they met at a church healing meeting mm -hmm. where Peter was desperately looking for some help and um, some sort of healing in his life, you know, because it becomes so miserable uh, with the pain and everything else. He'd lost everything, mm -hmm. so um, they met. They married in 1981, and they've been very, very happy. And they live in Te Awamudu now, absolutely. And he's got he's gone out and he's bought brand new guitars <laughs> and he practices every day three or four hours a day yeah. he's absolutely intrigued and he's put out that new album yes. Shane yeah. there's a word on the back of this CD oh. it says, no it's not that one is it <laughs> it's just surmise he gets everywhere that bloke <laughs> Shane I can surmise that tonight's song of the week is it's got to be the white rabbit by our favorite guitar star Peter the post Tune, yeah, and that's Peter um, playing there live on TV and sounding just as good as when he did right back in 62, 63, 64. Oh, yes. Now, did you know? No, I didn't. <laughs> did you know that Peter has sold more albums and records than any other Kiwi artist in New Zealand? Is that true? He, he has done 20 albums. 20 albums. 20 albums yeah. over his career span, and that was all in a very brief mm. time, not right now, you know, it was yeah. like in that early part of his career. And 28 singles. 
and 15 EPs. Wow. But, uh, and, and he also, did you know, he discovered the Chicks, our beloved Chicks, chicks. from the 60s, the lovely girls, Sue and Judy, the Chicks. He discovered them sitting on his porch one day. They came over and they said, are you Peter Poser? They wanted his autograph and he said, oh, you girls sing. And they had a couple of songs. He got them into the studio and next thing you know, they were stars, the Chicks. And they're still going strong. They are. Yeah, the they girls are, are still very going strong. Very much so. Shane Hales. <laughs> I can only say. Yes. Shane, you are done it again. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Well, that's our show tonight, and thank you to our guests. I look forward to seeing you again at the same time next week. I'm Jared Smith for The Beat Goes On. Until I see you again in seven days' time, have a great day.